we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to import so you can see what I've started to do here is paint on top of video of a video of myself you can see that I've started painting in the background there and this technique is called rotoscoping um, so what I'm gonna do I've shot a video using um, photo booth you know photo booth yeah yeah and I threw it on my desktop you don't have to do that you can uh, take a video of an object it doesn't have to be yourself and uh, but it has to be short okay and then we're going to import it into into flash so I'm just going to start a new file okay and it's an action script 3 so here's how you, this part is a little bit confusing but to import the video you go file and import video and then you're going to you're going to browse for the video and I put it on my desktop and it's called most of the movies that come out of um, photo booth start with the word movie right. and then they have the date so there it is I'm gonna say open and what I want to do is I want it to show up as a layer in the background of my flash file so what I want to do is I want to embed it to play in the timeline so that's the one I want to choose but you'll notice now I can't push next and down here it says you selected an incompatible video format to embed into an SWF and play in the timeline so then what I have to do is there's this button here to launch Adobe Media Encoder. I push that and it just asks me where do I want to save this file that I'm currently working on. I'll just throw it on my desktop. Um, Toter. Yeah, it's all part of Adobe Flash. Okay, so then you can see up here it sort of queued this thing up here. Um, I don't know why my screen has gone kind of grayish, but then I just want to push play here. It re-encodes the video. You can see that little progress bar jogging along there. As soon as that's done, it's it's create file uh, with the same name but .fla instead. So now when I go to my desktop, there it is. There movie blah 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 .fla. I choose open, and now I say next, and I throw it in my timeline. So here we go. Now you can see the video is much bigger than my stage. So if I drag it over here, oops. I move it you can see it's bigger than my stage so there's my stage um, so what I want to do I need I well you know what we're gonna actually make the stage bigger so that's a, a good guess so I just click if I click on the video I can see my video is has a width of 1080 and a height of 720 if I click my stage I can see my stage has a size of 550 by 400 so I want them to just those two numbers to match so I just go click on my stage. Instead of 550, I write 1080. Instead of 400, I'm going to write 720. And now those numbers match. And now I can just drag the video up into the corner. And then they match. Does that make sense? Yes. It does. Okay. Perfect. I wonder if that video 